All right, guys, on today's video, I've created an ultimate USB Loader GX slash Nintendo guide. Um, this is uh, for loading from SD card only. So this is going to work for the Wii games and the GameCube games. Um, I'm also going to be including uh, the CIOS pack uh, that you can install to run all the games. Uh, so I'm going to be leaving you a link to my page where you can get the download link from. So just scroll down on my page uh, where you see the wallpaper. Um, this is going to be a Mediafire file. Um, you're going to have to unzip it using uh, 7-zip or WinRAR. Now I'll show you all the files that are going to be included. So here's all the files. You'll have the apps folder, Nintendo, USB Loader GX, Wii Mod Lite, the CIOS WADS pack. This is going to have all the CIOSs to run all your Wii and GameCube games. Uh, covers folder. This is where you put all your covers for your games. Uh, games folder. This is where the GameCube games are going to go. The WADS folder. This is all the wads for the channel forwarders. So Nintendo, USB Loader GX, and Wii Mod Lite. Uh, you'll have a WBFS folder. And this is where you put your Wii games. So that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Now we're going to get on the Wii. We're going to install all the proper CIOSs and all the wads. And um, I will show you how to use the apps. Okay, so now over on the Wii. Um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to install all the channel forwarders. And we're going to install all the CIOSs. So uh, go to the homebrew channel. Start it up. We're going to be using Wiimot Lite. So load up Wii Mod Lite, load. First, we're gonna install the channels. Go down to the WAD manager, press A. Press A on the Wii SD slot. Uh, go down to the WADS folder, press A. And then press one to install all the channels. If you want to proceed, press A. Shouldn't take too long. So there you go. Press any key continue. Now press B. Now go up to your uh, CIOS WADS. Press A. We're going to do the same thing. Press 1 to install all the CIOSs as WADS. So press 1. If you want to proceed, press A. Now this will allow you to play your Wii games and the uh, GameCube games off your devices. So one more. Uh, press any key continue, press B, press home. Now press home again, exit the system menu. Now you should have all the uh, channel forwarders. So there's Wiimot Lite, USB Loader GX, and then Nintendo. Uh, now we're gonna load up USB Loader GX, and we're gonna change a few settings to make it load from the SD card. And we're also gonna Change the path for the covers. On the screens, just press uh, A to enable the uh, SD card mode.
So there you go. So there's your uh, Wii and GameCube games. So I got Kirby's Air Ride and New Super Mario Bros. Now we're going to change the uh, uh, cover path. So you can see the covers of the games. So go over to settings. Scroll over to custom paths. Uh, 3D cover path. Press A. Go down to your covers uh, folder and select it. So press OK. Now it'll say path changed. And now when you go back, you should have the uh, covers. So there's the covers, Kirby Air Ride and New Super Mario Bros. Um, now go to settings, um, hard drive settings. We're gonna change it so it can load from the SD card. So um, make sure the SD card mode is turned on and make sure it shows game install partition. Uh, it'll show the size of your SD card. So mine is a 32 gigabyte. And now mount USB at launch. Make sure this is off so it doesn't load any other device. Now go back, go back. Now we're gonna load uh, a Wii game from USB Loader GX just to see if it works. Start it up. Shouldn't be any issues. And there you go. So the game's working properly. Now press home. Wii menu. Yes. Now we're going to load up Nintendo. And um, we're going to run the GameCube games. So load up Nintendo. Start. Now this is going to give you the option to load from SD or USB. So for today's video, we're just going to load from the SD. So everything is running off the SD device only. So there's the option, it gives you USB SD. So we're going to select SD, press A. Uh, now if you press B, you can go into settings if there's any settings you want to change. But for now, I'm just going to load the game to show you that it works. Um, so the GameCube games, you're going to need a GameCube controller, a uh, Wii Pro controller, or a Wii Classic controller. So for today's uh, video, I'm just going to be using the uh, Wii Pro controller. So that's the one I have. Now we're going to select the game. So Kirby's Air Ride, press A. It should load up. You can also have the uh, memory card, your GameCube's uh, memory card, uh, plugged in as well if you want to save the uh, pro process of the game. Uh, we'll just go to OK to start the game. And it should start it no problem. So um, that's basically it for this guide. I will leave the link to my page where you can get the download folder from. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.